ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good this evening. So I just got done doing a live stream and then we got some breaking news. If you guys do not know, Jussie Smollett went on trial today and his sentence has just been handed down as of 20 minutes ago. Jussie Smollett has been found guilty, okay? And he was sentenced to 150 days by the judge, which equals five months. The whole situation is crazy. The judge was going in. I was watching what the judge was saying live. He was calling out the whole subway sandwich situation was basically putting it out there like everybody has been saying like Jussie you're lying the only one believing these lies are you and it doesn't make any sense why you're doing this this is very narcissistic I mean the judge read him for the filth but I think what's even sadder in all this is the fact that his family is standing by his lies and like you know I get it you want to have your siblings back but after a while, you have to be honest with yourself. The story makes no sense. And now Jesse has his family out here looking crazy because they're going hard for him. They're saying this is racism. He didn't do anything. He's a victim. I mean, he really got his siblings believing his tall tales. And that's just really sad. Even the grandmother, you know, his little old white grandmother was saying that this is racism. And, you know, again... I've always thought he's going to get time. Does he deserve, you know, five to 10 years? Absolutely not. But I think five months is a fair sentence for everything that he did and paying back a fine. I mean, they're lucky this, the judge didn't sentence him to five years. You know, five months, he'll be out. He's wanting everybody to know that he's not suicidal. Something happens to him. He didn't do it to himself. Sir, Jesse, calm down a bit. You're not Jeffrey Epstein. You're not Ghislaine Maxwell. Nobody's trying to harm you to get your secrets in your little black book. Ghislaine Maxwell screaming out that she's not suicidal, I get. Jeffrey Epstein saying it, even though he never said it, I would get. Jussie, stop. Stop with the dramatics. You literally ruined your career for no reason. But like I've always said, I believe the rabbit hole goes deep with this story and that a lot of, you know, politicians were involved in this because remember the climate at the time. It was a lot of this whole anti-Trump and, you know, right versus left. And it was all that mess. And this was during like a really hotbed political time. Can you give us a question. You're rude. attacking us. Thank can you give us a question? Don't be, can you I'm give us a question? Give you a, can you, not going to give you a can question. You can you stay categorical? You are fake like, news. Sir, Go ahead. can you stay categorical? So I still believe that he didn't act alone. But obviously whoever he was acting on behalf of, they've literally left him on the ledge to drive. They've all backed up off of him from Kim Fox to Cory Booker to Kamala Harris. I mean, the whole situation is just crazy. I don't know why he did this. He ruined Empire. He ruined his career. He ruined his name and all for what? Anyway, y'all, y'all go ahead and watch this clip. It's about eight minutes long. Um, I was able to catch some of this live and record it. So y'all check it out. Capper of all cappers, your performance on the witness stand. This could only be described as pure perjury. You got on the witness stand. You didn't have to, you did, you certainly have a right to, but you committed hour upon hour upon hour of pure perjury. And I find all those to be ample factors. If this court were to decide that the things you did, that any kind of probationary sentence would deprecate the seriousness of the offense and you need to go to the penitentiary, there, the record is clear and it would support it. But I'm looking at everything in its totality. And I agree. He's told to me today, you can't judge everybody by one bad thing they've done in their life. I don't know if it's the only bad thing, but it's the only bad thing that I'm concerned about now. And that you do have quite a record of real community service and quite a record of attaching with people. There is a lot of mitigation in this case as well. And I'm mindful of the pleas of mercy, particularly from people that are in the arena of dealing with social justice issues that are fighting seriously fighting, not playing around, not doing games like you were doing, but seriously fighting for matters involving hate crimes of, of all sorts. And they're asking you for mercy as well. So I'm trying to consider who you are as a person, how you got here, how somehow you strayed away from your family values, you let that dark, narcissistic, selfish, and arrogant side come out, and you persisted with it for years on this case, I'm fashioning the following sentence, and here's your sentence. I'm sentencing you to 30 months felony probation, and the probation is going to be to this court. You're going to be allowed to travel wherever you want. You do not have to live in the state of Illinois. You can report by phone. I know that uh, if you're going to 
try to make a living and do some of the things you do, you may have to go to uh, other uh, places, New York and Los Angeles. You can do those things. You will pay restitution to the city of Chicago in the amount of $120,106. You are fined $25,000, which is the maximum fine. And you will spend the first 150 days of your sentence in the Cook County Jail. And that will start today, right here, right now. Mr. Smollett, though the jury found you guilty and I've sentenced you as I have, you have the right to appeal the findings and rulings of the court or ask your sentence be modified. To do those things, you need to file a notice of appeal in writing within 30 days. We also file a motion to modify your sentence, which would have to be filed in writing within 30 days. Anything not stated in those filings are waived for purposes of appeal. You cannot afford lawyers or transcripts. They would be provided for your charge. Do you have any questions? No, I would just like to say to Your Honor that I am, uh, I am not suicidal. That's what I would like to say. Okay. I am not suicidal. Okay. I am not suicidal. I am innocent and I am not suicidal. Right. Yeah. If I did this, then it means that I stuck my fist in the fears of black Americans in this country for over 400 years and the fears of the LGBTQ community. Your Honor, I respect you and I respect the jury, but I did not do this and I am not suicidal. And if anything happens to me when I go in there, I did not do it to myself. And you must all know that. I respect you, Your Honor. I respect your decision. Jail time. I am not suicidal. Okay. Mr. Uche, let me inquire. Are there any post-sentencing motions you care to present right now? Yes, Judge. Yes, Ms. Bill. The defense would wish to present a motion to reconsider sentence and file it in standard. Right. Uh, it, is, it is timely filed. Thank you, Judge. And, and let me say, I've obviously considered the sentence at great length, uh, and, and it, it's timely filed, so it's preserved for purposes of appeal. The motion to reconsider sentence is respectfully denied. And is there another? What, what, one second, Randy. Anything else? Just a second, just a second. Is there going to be a notice of appeal filed? Yes, Judge. Uh, we, we, we are filed a notice of appeal. He has been, of course, covering this for us from the very beginning. He broke this case when it first happened three over three years ago. And Charlie, you've been in the courtroom all day. So, all right, it's a lot to cover. But are there any nuances that you were able to see from your vantage point that we were unaware of, including Jesse Smollett interacting with his team? Anything that really stood out to you? And Erica, before we dive into that, I do want to throw over to Jesse Smollett's older brother, Jojo, who's uh, speaking right now. So let's go over to that right now. He spoke about his arrogance. He doesn't know the struggles my brother is encountering. He doesn't know anything that he's dealing with. He doesn't know anything that he's dealing with. He spent all that time shaming him. In 2022, we don't shame people like this. All right. He basically called him a, a mental case. All right. If you look at that testimony, he basically reiterated and regurgitated all the prosecutors said. There was no, there was no independence. This is a duly elected judge in Cook County. He's supposed to be elected by the people, not just a stooge and a rubber stamp for the prosecutors. And I'm very disappointed, very disappointed. Your name again, sir? My name is Jojo Smollett. I'm his oldest brother. Okay. Yeah. I have something I want to say quickly. Your name, ma'am? My name is Jazz Smollett. I'm his older sister. First of all, I want to say my brother is innocent. My brother Jesse is innocent. This should not be a controversial statement because it is the absolute truth. What should be controversial is the entire miscarriage of justice this whole ordeal has been. I pray peace over my brother. I pray the peace of God over my brother and all victims of oppression and hate. I pray that we can do better as a world. May the God of peace be with you. Shalom. Your name, sir? My name is Jockey Smollett. I am Jesse's youngest brother. My brother does not deserve this. I watched my brother go from being a complete victim, which he still is. He was attacked, and he is now going to jail for being attacked. I saw my brother get locked up within two weeks for being attacked. Do you know how crazy that is? They want to say in that court and say they want to say in that court and say that he's the reason why folks aren't going to report hate crimes. They're the reason why folks aren't going to report hate crimes. Because none of you believed it. None of y'all believed it. 
We have letters from the NAACP, President Derek Johnson himself. We have letters from Rainbow Push Coalition. We have letters from the Innocence Project, all saying that he should not be in jail. And they put him in jail. That judge chastised him. He chastised my brother. He does not deserve this. He was attacked. Do people never once think, even the folks who are naysayers, do you ever once think what happens if, if he's telling the what truth? He's telling the truth. Do you all ever think about how poorly you feel in that situation? He's in jail for five months. That is unacceptable for being attacked. It is not, it is not his fault that folks are not going to believe survivors anymore. He is a survivor and he has been completely mistreated and this, is, this has to stop. A remarkable um, moment there, grandma. and we have seen, we have let's listen to Grandma. Black men from ...being abducted into the prison system. You know it. And you guys got to do more investigative reporting, more investigation, okay? Thanks. Can you say, Molly, can you, do you want um, um, the, his comments after the sentencing, the reiteration, the repeating that he's not suicidal, are you worried about what's going to happen to him in prison? Why do you think he said that? Um, he just wanted to reassure us. Can you wanted to reassure us. So that was for you? He's, he's innocent. Okay. Like so many hey. in prison that shouldn't be there. Hey, man. Would you like to get, get the white collar guys, okay? Who are really making money, you know, who are really corrupt. We've got to do something about saving our democracy here so that we don't get another Putin. Okay? I love you guys, okay? I'm a film person. All right, honey, so y'all just watched that clip. How about a round of applause? Standing ovation. Damn, Jesse! Did y'all see how he got up and was like, Your Honor, I respect your decision, but this is not right. I mean, he said y'all gonna get his acting, y'all gonna get his damn Oscar winning performance one way or another, honey. Jussie was not playing. Like after a while, I'm like, is this scripted? Is this a movie set? Is this the next season of Empire? Like he really went hard, child. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting those damn dramatics in the courtroom, honey. I'm not suicidal. If anything happens to me, I didn't do it. Okay, Jesse. All right, honey. Calm down. You're not Jeffrey Epstein or Ghislaine Maxwell. I don't think anybody wants to harm you because you have no real ties to anything outside of the people who put you up to this foolishness. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. Like I said, you know, it's a lot to digest. I feel bad for the family because they're kind of caught between a rock and a hard place. Their brother is clearly a liar, but that's still their brother. You know, it's no different than people online saying, free my nigga such and such from jail, even though he shot four people. You'll always have people defending their friends and family, you know, so I'm not shocked by the family coming to his defense. But it's sad because, again, this taints their, their name as well. You know, you've never heard the Smollett family involved in any type of nonsense. You see, Journey wasn't up there. She's like, bitch. I still act. He's like, bitch, I still get acting gigs, honey. I ain't going to tie me to this foolishness. You know, but I do feel bad for them, though, real talk, because at the end of the day, that's their brother. But they should also be happy that at least he's not getting five years and he's doing five months. Hopefully he can take that five months to reflect and, you know, and possibly snitch, honey. We're waiting for you to spill that tea because we know you didn't act alone. We know you didn't just come out and just think of that yourself. You know, I mean, I, I just feel like, you know, he was put up to it because it just doesn't make any sense. He was on one of the hottest shows, well-respected, why risk? all of that unless you know you can have protection you know so we'll have to see what happens from here he's gonna appeal it he says in 30 days but I don't think the judge is gonna budge I think five months is fair anything you know over a year would have been too much for what he did so anyways y'all let me know your thoughts down below how do y'all feel about the sentencing do you think it's fair do you think it's not fair and then what do you think about his siblings coming out and still defending him do you feel like he has them brainwashed into believing his lies? Because everybody can tell that this story just does not make any sense. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like, and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces.